Hello and welcome to the special transmission of the SEO Summit. Uh, we're of course talking about this very important multilateral platform in which of course Pakistan is playing the very important role of host and we see the participation of the Prime Ministers of various member states and of course representatives of other member states in the country as well. And of course we'll be talking about the kind of issues and um, aspects of discussion uh, that will be very important and integral particularly when we talk about the heads of government meeting that will be chaired by the Prime Minister tomorrow and of course in terms terms of the way forward of regional collaboration and cooperation both in terms of security efforts um, economic efforts but also in terms of challenges that we face and that we can work towards together such as environmental concerns so we're going to be taking a look at what this of course opportunity represents but also in terms of the way that these member states can play a huge role despite whatever political challenges they might face bilaterally but use this platform to go ahead and talk about issues that concern all of us and that it, that it require a collective response. We're going to be taking a look at what this very important and historic summit um, will hold and of course the way that Pakistan can also enhance its own role as a very key strategic and international player and then of course in terms of regional cooperation the way forward that Pakistan would like to see and then of course in the ways that the countries and the member states of all of the SEO uh, representatives can also take part in that future. We're going to be talking about all of this in our transmission today and as always I've been joined in the studios by senior analyst Raja Faisal. We've also been joined online by senior analyst Farooq Patafi and also Major General Tariq Rashid Khan, who's a senior analyst, and um, Mr. Farshid Bagheria, who's in, uh, from the Iranian West Asia Research Center. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for joining us and being part of the discussion and talking to us about what, of course, the SEO holds for Pakistan and the region. I'd like to start with you, General Saab, in terms of what we see um, so far, of course, in the kind of engagements and the kind of participation that we see from these member states. It is a positive sign to see that representation uh, from the member states um, is here. Uh, we've seen, of course, uh, the participation of many prime ministers. We've seen representatives of other countries taking part, even observer states coming in. And that's important, of course, in terms of the success of this particular platform. But I want your take in what uh, this uh, particular opportunity represents for Pakistan in particular particular, talking about the kind of global and collective challenges that we all face together and what we can hope to achieve from this discussion. Thank you very much. And a very good evening to you and to all the viewers of PTV World. And I would like to say that this is a very historic moment and unique opportunity for Pakistan to host this head of council of uh, the government of SCO. This is taking place first time in Pakistan. And the last time such conference took place in Pakistan, which was the ECO, where head of this government attended that happened in 2017. With the passage of time, SCO has become a very powerful organization. It has 10 full members, then there are 14 dialogue members, then there's a representation of UN and ASEAN, and also the uh, Council of Independent uh, States. So this become a very powerful, uh, uh, powerful organization in the global contest. And especially if you see this time, there's a big, uh, Russian delegation headed by their prime minister is has already arrived. The and then you see the Chinese premier. He also arrived with a sizable delegation. And the Chinese have indicated very clearly that we are we stand with Pakistan in all the important <coughs> events. So Chinese premier has arrived a day earlier than the scheduled conference, and then he will stay back. When the conference is concluded, he will stay for another day here. So to see uh, that how best they can cooperate in the long term with Pakistan. And you see the Indian, they also compared to send their, uh, the foreign minister, Subramaniam uh, <coughs> uh, he has already arrived in Pakistan, so they could not leave this moment unattended. That is the importance of SEO. So in the global context, I feel that after G20, the SEO has become the most pro uh, powerful and prominent organization. It represents <coughs> 40% of uh, global uh, uh, population and also 40% of the area. In terms of GDP, this represents almost one third of the world GDP. So this is a very important forum and historic, historic opportunity for Pakistan to, uh, to, to, to present Pakistan narrative to the world. The narrative right. is that Pakistan is very peaceful. Right, and uh, pro, uh, pro We'll take a short break here. I'll come back and you can continue your thoughts.
Welcome back to the special transmission regarding the SEO summit. And we were, of course, discussing at length uh, what future possibilities this particular summit holds and what sort of role Pakistan can play in this regard. And we were speaking uh, to uh, Major General Retired Tariq Rashid Khan Saab, who was discussing his thoughts on this particular issue. Yes, General Saab, please continue. has become especially very important that out of 10 members, there are four <coughs> member states which are nuclear capable. Nuclear power, their nuclear capabilities has been recognized and they established nuclear power. That is China, Russia, India, and Pakistan. So with this, such a powerful organization, West and especially US see this organization very critically. So this uh, head of the uh, government of uh, SCO, which have gathered here, so it assumes additional importance. And, there, and the agenda of this conference is also very <coughs> comprehensive, right from multilateral forum to discuss the issues of security, the issues of terrorism, the issues of separatism, the issues of uh, extremism, and also people-to-people -people contact and how to enhance trade and connectivity within <coughs> the SEO member states. And especially you see this, all the SEO member states, that they are geographically co-located and they represent the most of the countries of uh, Europe and Asia. So this represents the Euro-Asian uh, states <laughs> comprehensively in this organization. So in my view, uh, this, uh, this forum at this point in time assume even additional importance in the sense that the, the first vice president of uh, Iran is also visiting here, despite the fact they are, uh, they are at the risk of uh, a very, I would say, uh, a war which can ex escalate and take the entire region into uh, its hold. So despite the very uh, potent threat and announced threat from Israel, they have decided to send their uh, first vice president to Pakistan. So all this give additional importance <coughs> and value, and the world is looking towards this forum. And Pakistan has got this unique opportunity to, uh, to express and to present their narrative to the world, which is a narrative for peace, which is a narrative of progress, which is a narrative of collective connectivity, which is a narrative of common and, and shared vision to for the people of their respective countries. Right, absolutely. And that is, a, of course, integral to this entire discussion and uh, what we, of course, hope to achieve from this. Um, and Mr. Farshid, I also want your perspective on this because, um, as was mentioned by General Saab, we, of course, uh, we are going to be seeing the participation of the first vice president of Iran. And it's very important, particularly after um, uh, Iran actually became a full member of the SEO. And I want your take in terms of what uh, will be the possibilities that Iran would hope to explore as part of this um, SEO summit. And in the ways that which you see the collaboration, uh, particularly when we talk about uh, economic uh, issues, security challenges, environmental issues, and others that face the entire region, what aspects of that will be most important to Iran? Thank you very much for the invitation and my regards to other invitees. Uh, let's have it. Uh, first of all, it's, uh, it's better to thank uh, Pakistani authorities to helping such this uh, prominent event in Pakistan because. Uh, what is lacking in them? Asia is dialogue and uh, mm. the events for, for producing dialogue. It's very important because we are suffering from such this lack. Anyway, um, you know, uh, let's uh, get back um, a small journey to the uh, philosophy of establishment of the Shanghai Cooperation. Uh, it was because of uh, security of border and ontological security. Ontological security, you know, Anthony Giddens, derive this theory for uh, for for a metaphysical security the uh, the first member of the i mean this co cooperation suffered from the border security and they established such this i mean uh, i mean organization uh, to to produce a new dialogue for producing security uh, it's very important thing but after passing some years this organization make bigger, better because of the GDP that Mr. Tari Khan explained very clearly. And after that, we are right now in the mid or middle of big wars. I mean, Russian war with the Ukraine and Gaza massacre uh, and genocide in Gaza and the tension, that escalation tension between Taiwan and China. It's, it's better to see that the major part of the members of this organization right now is involving in war and not involving with trade. 
first of all, we have to keep the security. I mean, I'm talking about the members, not involving to more wars, not involving to the games that derive by the Western powers. This is very important. This is the, the, the opportunity right now, first, because held in Pakistan, to make dialogue. You know, Mr. Pazishkan, because uh, some part of your question was about Mr. Pazishkan and in his new doctrine. Mr. Pazishkan uh, started his uh, I mean, campaign in the I mean, presidential campaign with dialogue, dialogue with West, dialogue with uh, uh, members uh, uh, of the uh, organizations, dialogue with neighbors. You know, in Iran and Pakistan, there is a very long-lasting border, and we are suffering, both of us suffering the Baluchistan, for example, problem, issue, that derived by the England, for example. We are suffering from the another another uh, issue with India. And look at all the, the borders right now. First of all, we have to secure and stable the borders and de escalation the borders. Dialogue without security is not uh, working anymore. It's better to first, not only we have to put the dialogue into a box that this box will be open only in these events. The dialogue between Muslim countries, between Asian countries in this region must be daily, not annually. This is a very important thing. Because what we are suffering is the security, intelligence security, the, 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 the ignorance, the extreme extremism this is very important issues between our borders first of all we have to remove such these problems mm. to not involve to other issues in the world because you know you can see that uh, i can I, I don't want to nominate israel as a regime israel is a project on paper nothing else because there is no rationalism in israel and this 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 power that derived by the America, backed by America, is uh, uh, attacking all Muslim countries right now. Yeah. And uh, yeah, this is a very important thing. First of all, in this issue in Pakistan, that is Pakistan hosting this very prominent issue right now, we have to talk about this. And the trade, um, commerce, and the, the, these are not the important things. First, security. This is my opinion. And Mr. I believe that Mr. Pazishkan is taking part to this uh, yeah, event and this issue. We talk about the Israel, uh, I, mean, I mean, this issue definitely, but maybe uh, uh, um, you know, with the back of the uh, closed doors, not even open to public. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. No, absolutely. Um, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Fashid, for actually raising that and talking uh, about this particular issue. It's, of course, very important because SE or not, any platform, this is an important aspect uh, to be shared and talked about. The genocide continues. We've, we've seen that a year has passed. We've seen suffering um, uh, that uh, that is unimaginable. So, of course, this is something really important and integral. But, of course, for the sake of discussion in terms of what we're talking about today on the SEO Summit, I want your perspective also. You raised concerns about security, and fair enough, these are important aspects that affect us all in the uh, evolution of the way, way the world that we see uh, that exists today in the conflicts that you just mentioned and what is going on um, in the Middle East. I want your perspective then on what sort of collaborative avenues or discussions can possibly take place as part of a multilateral platform such as the SEO that can actually see uh, that can actually see collaboration on ground because while the rhetoric may be there, while there are discussions uh, that we see with different countries coming up with the people of the world coming up i want your perspective on what can people actually do then through platforms such as the seo where we see a more collaborative way to actually face these issues and provide security to the region for starters and then of course uh, to the entire world and for she yeah. uh, it's my turn yeah and that that is related to exactly when we know that iran is a country and there are a couple of more countries that has sanctions on them from the Western countries. Uh, how do you see SCO addressing that issue related to sanctions on certain countries? Yes, so Mr. Fashid, the both questions are for you. Please go ahead. Okay, okay, thank you. Uh, in the apply logic, we have um, a uh, um, uh, principle, principle of identity. This, it means that, let me explain it, clarify it. If Iran produce one barrel of oil daily, and Pakistan, part, uh, the purchase it to Pakistan, 
and there is without any problem and obstacle. So if you want to take part to an, an opera organization, such as Shanghai, such as BRICS, and, uh, and any, any other organization, you have to produce another identity, and you have to, you have to upgrade your products, your services, and produce another identity. If Iran is right now uh, is pleased with his identity, uh, under the sanctions, Iran can do nothing in such organizations. So we have to produce new identities. The sanction, you know, uh, yesterday or maybe the day before, uh, Great Britain uh, make another uh, a new sanction, seven organizations and seven people, according to the the sale of the, I mean, the missiles to the Russian because of the Ukraine war. Every day we are facing and we are suffering from the new sanctions. You know, yesterday, all Iranian flights, I mean, the airlines, is stopped from uh, a, a, any any flight from Iran to the Europe. And these are sanctions. And transferring the funding and transfering the, the, the uh, I mean, uh, the, the collecting the, the uh, of the fund of the selling oils and the other of Iranian products. This is very important thing. How we can produce and resolve this problem in Sh uh, Shanghai organization or other any kind of organization because uh, observing such this, I mean, transaction by United States and the Western countries is very easy for them. You know, for example, China has more than some trillion dollar transaction with the United States, but the, the figures with Iran is ma many, many less than this. And never, we cannot compare these two commerce to each other. It means that the the total, maybe to the total uh, oil product, uh, total sale, uh, maybe of Iran would be 100 billion. And if you compare it with the Chinese trade with the United States, this is nothing. So China will not put his trade in hazard because of Iran in the United States. This is a very important thing. So it's better that from globalization and think globally, it's better to think regionally. This is a very important thing. I believe that Iran must start with neighbors not with the euro, not with, the, uh, for example, uh, uh, Western countries. Because, you know, uh, maybe maybe Mr. Pazizkian is talking about the dialogue. The United States accept this dialogue or not? Because the subject position is very important. We are talking about our subject position. And if you if you switch the position from the United from Washington to Iran, uh, you look at the, look at the, the dialogue between the, uh, uh, Ms. Uh, Kamala Harris and uh, uh, Mr. Trump. The main, the main issue between them is Iran right now. All is Iran. The dialogue between Israel and the uh, United States is Iran. You can see that all. The, look at, you can see the, the, the top, the top news right now, in all the medias all around the world is Iran right now. How Iran will respond to Israel, how Israel will respond to Iran, how Israel will attack the Iranian refineries and uh, petroleum uh, infrastructures and it will rise the oil price in the, in the world or not. During this, I mean, this all aforementioned details, how we can talk about the dialogue with, you, with the Western countries? This is very difficult. So we, we must start with the neighbors. For this reason, I explained that. This summit, I mean, or maybe this even that the Pakistani authorities prepared is very important for Iran to change its doctrine, maybe from uh, transatlantic to the neighbors countries. This is this is my aspect and my opinion. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Right, absolutely. Um, and General Daisab, I want your perspective on this as well, because these are core issues that, of course, affect us all. And I want your perspective in terms of the way uh, that uh, while, of course, we're taking a look at the collaborative avenues, both on the economic and security fronts, there's also the aspect of the very important uh, affairs of the world and the bilateral engagements and political engagements of different countries and the kind of realities that we live in. So I want your take in terms of uh, what uh, this particular summit uh, or this platform actually holds in terms of the potential and also in terms of the action points that countries can take uh, seriously in terms of providing the kind of security and economic benefits that member states such as Iran are looking forward to. 
So this is a very, uh, I would say, important and the life issues which uh, SEO has to uh, tackle. And very uh, rightly brought out by a brother from Iran. You see, we have been living in the unipolar world. And since it was a unipolar world, so led by the United States, they could dictate, they, they could dictate their terms. They can, they can sanction Iran, they could sanction Russians, they can sanction any country because the, uh, the principle of might is right being the unipolar world they could, they could exercise. But no, the trends are changing. No, this is a century of geoeconomics. So this is a century of uh, Asia, Asia. This is, this is called century of the Asia. No, because of the economic growth, which has, which has taken place in, uh, in especially in China and also in the other Asian countries. So this uh, SEO forum is gradually gaining importance. And that way, that's why I said the West looks at it very critically. So we need to, for example, the SEO countries are co-located geographically. So we need to uh, ensure and enhance bilateral trades. We need to, amongst the SEO countries. And then if, for example, any country like Pakistan, which is uh, facing the threat of terrorism in two of its provinces, and if we have some evidence that some uh, other country is involved and is backing them, so we must present those proof and we talk about that in such forum. And then this forum, for example, can work out a joint strategy that, for example, if any country amongst the SEOs is found involved in any kind of sponsoring or abetting terrorism in other countries so they can jointly pass some for example some measures which can force that country not to do it for example if the india is for example we have a credible evidence and proof that uh, through afghanistan they have been sponsoring the state's uh, sponsored terrorism activities in our uh, province of khyber pakhtunkhwa and Balochistan. so this forum it provides a good opportunity to present your case multilaterally, and then uh, there could be some resolution, some binding uh, statements on the countries not to get involved in others' uh, internal affairs. But uh, this is the, the, as the SQ is progressing, I feel that the time but is not far. But General Sahib, how, how will these statements be binding? Because while we, of course, can see a joint declaration or a consensus, uh, there is no real structure in terms of ensuring or in terms of accountability or consequence for anybody who violates that. You see, this is a very unfortunate state. For example, the United Nations has passed a number of resolutions about Kashmir, about Gaza, uh, but uh, the perpetrators are not abiding and listening to those resolutions. So if the forum decides that any of the member country uh, has, for example, morally no right to be part of that organization if they don't honor whatever the resolution is passed by that particular organization. Now, for example, UN has passed more than, I think, two dozen resolution about Kashmir. India is not listening to those, uh, uh, those resolution. And on top of that, they want to become the permanent member of uh, UN Security Council. So how could they aspire to become a member, permanent member of the UN Security Council once they don't listen to their resolution? So, for example, in, this is a this is a very life and practical situation which the world is facing. So, if the member of the organization decides that to make it transparent and make it a real, effective organization, such things should be discussed. And if there are credible evidence, and if that country doesn't listen to uh, the resolution passed by uh, persistently by that organization, there should be a mechanism which should bar and they should not be allowed to participate and be the member of, so that will put a, I would say, a great pressure on that country that, right. uh, if, for example, jointly a, a state, a jointly a resolution is passed, that becomes binding for all the member states. Hmm. Right. Thank you very much, um, uh, Tariq Rashid Khan sir, for joining us and being part of the discussion. And thank you very much, Mr. Farshid Bakhenia, for also joining us and being part of this very special transmission on the SEO Summit. Farooq, I want your perspective on uh, what we've discussed, particularly in, in the context of Iran and uh, what can we possibly see uh, coming out of the SEO Summit, uh, especially in terms of trade and investment. But add to that the larger uh, and broader perspective of the entire region as well in terms of um, overcoming issues such as sanctions 
solutions, overcoming issues such as trade and investment pathways. Uh, what sort of aspects do you think uh, can possibly exist when we talk about uh, a more regional mechanism of economic affairs, perhaps de-dollarizing the economy in some way or the other? And will that be of interest to countries beyond those who are facing sanctions at the moment, such as India, for example? Right, sir. Thank you very much for the question. I think um, I think everybody who is listening to this program will echo my sentiment that uh, I particularly really enjoyed uh, with, uh, uh, Farshid's uh, intervention, especially because he is a thinking man and he was uh, uh, talking about ontological, uh, you know, security. So I was thinking that, uh, that perhaps we should also talk about teleological. Uh, you know, um, uh, harmony. Uh, Teleology is essentially uh, the study of uh, events not just based on causes, but also uh, ascribing purpose to whatever is happening. So if you zoom out and if you look at all these conflicts, Sana, what appears? Uh, all this suffering, so many uh, Palestinians killed, butchered in broad daylight. Of course, it was the Chinese were butchered also one year ago. Uh, similarly, in uh, various other countries like, uh, say, Sudan, elsewhere, in Kashmir, uh, all this suffering that continues, and then poverty also. Uh, so what is the answer? I think Shanghai spirit that is at the heart of SEO is the answer. Because here you are not trying to wrestle a power out of uh, somebody's hands. You are ensuring that everybody within your market spaces are safe and they work in tandem in harmony. Right? Uh, and the biggest concern right now when you talk about uh, all these countries is that there is, uh, especially in India and Pakistan, incredible poverty. Uh, similarly, when it comes to the safety and security of the country, they keep on sparring over borders or over land. But when it comes to the well-being of the citizen, perhaps they drop ball. Uh, here, a Shanghai Cooperation Organization can bring them all together. Earlier, uh, your question regarding enforcement mechanism at the uh, SEO, that is a very bad, bad concern. But my humble submission is when you uh, compare it with the UN, which has been there forever, uh, uh, SEO is a younger organization and it is a work in progress. Tomorrow, when the uh, head of government actually meet, they are also going to finalize the budget for SEO. So with all these things, the mechanisms will also be created. But should, should there be coercive mechanism? Or should there be a better dialogue? Because these two countries, China and Russia, are so influential and have so much uh, leeway with all these governments that they, their word or their suggestion might also influence some action. So I'm hoping that in coming days we see some kind of collective focus on the uh, well-being of the people and the uh, reduction of suffering may be through but because of war, may be because of famine, may be because of climate change. And that's why, because this uh, body was created only at the end of last century. Uh, essentially, it is a millennial, right? Uh, it is something that belongs to this millennium. So we can expect that it will create the kind of solution that we haven't seen before. And, and by the way, uh, I'm not going to compare SEO with UN, I'm not going to compare it with NATO, this body or that. My, my humble submission is that there are Asian values, of course there are political Asian values, but then there are values which are informed or educated by centuries, not centuries, millennia of uh, evolution. So that can also contribute to our understanding of current disputes and how human beings have been actually tackling all the crises in the past. If we can do that, Sana, uh, I tell you, uh, the Russian Prime Minister just landed in Islamabad, right? A few months ago, I was listening to President Putin's, uh, Putin's interview to, uh, you know, one of American, uh, uh, Tucker Carlson, actually. And there something was said about uh, AI and the uh, technologies that AI, uh, Elon Musk might be actually introducing 
uh, in the human beings as well. And the president, uh, Putin, actually said something beautiful. I hope he understands what he is doing. And remember, Yuval Hadari recently wrote a book called Nexus. And the purpose of the point is don't summon the forces that are beyond your control. Uh, the three authors who got uh, Nobel uh, Prize for economics, um, Asimoglu, uh, Johnson, and Robinson, they essentially are focusing on inequality and why is it that various countries fail to develop. So at this moment, the purpose, main purpose, should be uh, economic freedom of the people of all these countries. And if that can be achieved, all these security related issues can eventually be tackled as well. Right, absolutely. And this is, uh, this is of course, very important um, to focus on the core of the issue. And Faisal, I want your perspective on that as well. While, of course, the SEO is growing and we look forward to an enhancement of its structure and its importance and expansion also in terms of member states, that is going to be really integral to its success as well if we focus on the core of the issues. But I want your take also in terms of when we talk about the future possibilities, the way that the West, particularly the U.S., is actually also taking a look at the SEO as a platform and as of course regional uh, a, a mechanism of regional cooperation uh, is that something that we'll need to balance in terms of uh, the Pakistani perspective and also in terms of the success of the SEO yes and obviously <coughs> when we uh, uh, you know particularly look at uh, SEO uh, it, it, it was designed to address the challenges which are being faced by the region at that time of course there were only five countries but later on it got increased mm. and we are hoping that it can further increase itself with the countries like, uh, you know, Middle Eastern countries and Bangladesh as well, and to some, uh, some extent Afghanistan as well, can become a member state of SCO. And in that context, of course, uh, it would be a further uh, cooperation that can be seen in the region. Uh, when we talk about the challenges, I mean, two major challenges which are being faced by the world at this hour uh, are related to, first of all, of course, the conflict uh, that is taking place in uh, uh, in the West, and that is Ukraine crisis, and then the Middle Eastern crisis, as earlier it was mentioned in the show. Uh, and both of these uh, conflicts, they have created grain shortages. They have created, uh, you know, uh, a havoc for uh, people at large, masses at large, when it comes to the energy crisis, uh, which is being faced by, uh, I mean, throughout the world, even the Western world, uh, is facing the same problem because uh, Russia is part of that uh, uh, conflict and Russia it was one of the main, of course, uh, you know, uh, exporter of the energy needs of the Europe. And when it comes to grain crisis, you name uh, uh, African country that is not facing this problem because both of the countries, Ukraine and Russia, they used to, of course, fill the tanks of grains in mm -hmm. Africa. And when we talk about Middle Eastern crisis, that has actually created a sort of, uh, you know, environment in which, uh, in which everything is seeming to be unreliable in terms that when, when would we be seeing another country getting into this conflict, especially talking about Yemen, talking about Iran, we are seeing these problems. And if, of course, Iran being the member state of SEO, mm. it is a direct sort of problem for SEO states, SEO member states. And if this conflict, of course, goes ahead, then of, there will be further challenges for uh, uh, SEO right. uh, member states. And when we talk about, you know, uh, uh, the climate change, I mean, Pakistan is one of the worst hits. And we, we remember the estimates were made around $32 billion, uh, which was the loss, economic loss of Pakistan. Still, we are waiting to be recovered. And there are uh, many more countries that are facing Absolutely. the same problems. And I think these are the challenges that needs to be addressed, that need, needs to be looked into this, uh, uh, in, in this SEO. And we are hoping that these issues will be resolved this time around. Absolutely. That is, of course, the hope uh, that we um, are going to move forward with. And we hope to see these discussions and this important aspect also being part of what we hope to see in terms of the future of the member states and the region, the fact that we can actually collaborate on issues that affect us all and have a collective response. But of course, that remains to be seen. But we
have big hopes from tomorrow um, as part of uh, the heads of government meeting from the SCO chaired by the Prime Minister and of course uh, with important representation from all member states. Thank you Farouk, thank you Faisal for joining us as always. That's going to be the end for now in terms of what we're talking about as part of the SEO summit but our special transmission continues and we'll be here to talk about the SEO heads of government meeting as it continues tomorrow. That's all that we have right now. We'll now see you tomorrow.